Hi I'm Kai. In this video I'm going to explain racism what it is and how it has affected America. Colonizing. Racism has been present in America since the beginning. When the settlers had come to colonize America, they had seen the natives as savage and primal, meant to be uplifted. When the natives refused to be willing to change, the settlers forced to change. Through massacring food sources for sport, to forcefully stealing land, and trying to sell it back to them. Through all of this, they were still seen as less than, for the color of their skin by many of the settlers. Slavery. Many new Americans were in need of farm helpers and many couldn't afford to pay them. So, through the passageway of the trade from America, to Europe, and Africa, they procured slaves from Africa through trade and theft, stealing people from tribes and shipping them to America, for labor. Life on the ships was terrible, and many didn't make the trip from disease to starvation. All the while they were degraded and abused by crew members for their heritage. Upon arrival to America, they were auctioned off and were given better jobs dependent on how, light, they were. Between a lighter slave and a darker slave, a lighter one would most likely be put to housework, while those who were darker were field workers, as they more so favored those who resembled their skin tone. Freedom. Throughout the years of slavery, many people came to the terms that slaves were indeed people and didn't deserve to be enslaved. The North had been against slavery and many runaway slaves left to go to the North to be free, much to the frustration of slave owners, who issued warrants and rewards for the capture of runaways. Also, many whites had rallies and protests for the abolishment of slavery, as well as discreet meetings for the discussion of slavery. Upon the abolishment of slavery, laws were put into place where someone couldn't be made to do unwilling labor unless they're incarcerated. Using this law, many Southerners formed groups to over-police black people, and have them unnecessarily arrested. Civil Rights Following the abolishment of slavery, many angry whites formed groups amongst themselves that were against the newly freed blacks. They harassed them, scared them, and even killed them. They used segregation to further degrade black people. Whites were treated much better than blacks, as they were allowed in better restaurants and bathrooms, even better water fountains were reserved specifically for whites. A few religious groups even formed the KKK, a group that was dressed in sheets to appear like ghosts of Confederate soldiers, that greatly despised black people and went as far as to set crosses on fire and to publicly lynch people. Many activists and leaders worked, did speeches, and protested peacefully in opposition to segregation. Also, many people filed lawsuits against the Supreme Court on the topic of segregation. From Rosa Parks to Martin Luther King Jr., black people gained the same rights as their white counterparts. Present. As stated before, America has had a deep root and history of racism. The police were built off a runaway slave task force and have a bias against certain minorities such as black people or Hispanics. Many black-dominated neighborhoods are quite poor and over-policed so it would of course make sense there be many more arrests made than an under the policed white-dominated suburban area. As of recent news, the death of the black man George Floyd has caused an upsurge of the BLM movement to protest against systemic racism and unnecessary police killings. The past has shown who tried to be peaceful, but it wasn't enough, so now the time to be rowdy and loud so they can't ignore them. Thank you for watching. Learn more at mhmwfh.com.